Welcome to Learn From the Experts, presented to you by Women Business Owners Alliance. The WBOA is made up of women entrepreneurs. We have a membership of over 100 members. The business women that you will see on our program are all members of the WBOA and are excited to share their expertise and knowledge with all of our viewers. So sit back relax and let them wow you with their willingness to share. My name is Carlene Hoffman and I'm with The Clutter Doctor and my co-host is... Hi, I'm Susan Allen. I'm with Susan Allen Financial and I'm here with, welcome ladies, Hello. I'm here with Eileen Jerome from Taylor's Rental and Jerome's Party Plus and also Marianne Dennis from All Events Realized. You know, this time of year, people are thinking about getting into the party mood, more activities inside. Can you tell me a little bit, is that true? Well, actually, my experience is this time of the year, people are still having tent parties outdoors. Really? And if it gets chilly, we just put on sides and mm -hmm. tent heaters or indoor tent heaters, the patio heaters that you see. So no, it's not time yet to go indoors. In New England, we like to stay outdoors as long as we possibly can. That's great. But yes, but we are getting into the holiday time as well. You know, between October, November, and December, yes, there is a lot of entertaining going on. Now you were saying about tent heaters, mm -hmm. so you can actually provide heat inside the tent if they still want to have an outside party, and how long up to what month can that happen till? It, it's not the month, it's the temperature. Okay. A tent heater can only heat the inside of the tent about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than outside. Wow. So okay. if you've got a 30 degree night, <laughs> it's it's really still going to be chilly inside that tent. Okay. But last uh, last year at Christmas time, we did have a warm evening and it just happened to coincide with a very large party that we did down in West Hartford. And that evening was 60 degrees, it was 60 degrees outside. Wow. So in the tent it was Perfect. wonderful and comfortable. Mm -hmm. But we had to clear the snow away from this man's yard to set up the tent. I mean, it's so true because fall is the new June, or wait, is it the other way around? I might have that backwards. But there are more weddings in the fall than there are in the summertime. And I've done a lot of weddings this summer, but the fall, it's every single weekend, sometimes Friday, Saturday, and Sunday weddings. Mm -hmm. And they're outdoors, they're in tents, they're at estates, they're in the backyard. Um, so yes, outdoor weddings in the fall. So you can use the foliage around you. You could bring in uh, a tree stump potentially to lift, uh, I don't know, a picture frame or what have you. you could just or just your centerpiece. Put your centerpiece and some, some uh, mason jars and some, some wildflowers. And you just really have a great time with the outdoor weddings or the outdoor events or a family reunion or what have you. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you were going to, if someone was going to start planning an event, what's the first thing they should start with? Where should they, you know, what should they put down on paper? What should they start thinking about if they're going to be having an event? Well, well I'll let you take it away first. <laughs> start out, let's start out with Eileen. <laughs> um, I would say it's what is the event? Why are you having the event? And mm -hmm. then you would decide how many people you're going to have. Can you fit these inside your home? or do you need to go outside in the yard, mm -hmm. or do you need to go to a venue, like some people rent halls. So it would, it would that's, I think the first thing is your guest list and mm -hmm. why, you're having, why you're having the party. Okay. And mm -hmm. then you would go with your theme. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, maybe you just wanna have a family reunion. Mm -hmm. Theme parties are wonderful. This time of the year, just to get together. Um, Oktoberfest is, is a great idea for a party. Coming up, we're gonna have Halloween, another great idea for a party. I mean, so you would come up with, what's your, what's your vision? Mm -hmm. what, what are you planning to do? Um, do you want to go with disposable party goods mm -hmm. or do you want to do the ultimate recycling, which is renting mm -hmm. your dishes, your glasses, your linens, what have you? So it just really depends on what your what your vision is, and that's mm -hmm. and that's when you start talking to your client, saying mm -hmm. let's let's talk about our options. Budget is a that's a big thing for for people to help us decide, right. you know, which way to guide them. Oh, so yeah. we just we listen to what our clients want, mm -hmm. and then we go from there and help them. 
Okay. Is that, is that what you find out too, Marianne? Oh, absolutely. For instance, um, I brought a I brought a horseshoe because this family is big into horses, and so they're having a very small wedding, and so this will be the table member, a horseshoe. Uh huh. How okay. fun is that? And it's a very do-it-yourself kind of thing, where you have a horseshoe and then you. Yeah, print it and and taste it, and then you just taper it off with a with a straight edge. Um, if you if you are into making jams, they can be your favors. Um, if not, you can you can do jelly beans and saran wrap with a twine, and just say thank you for being at the at the event. Whatever the event is, whether it's poker night and just having a bunch of neighbors come in and have a blast or a family reunion, you can really take the theme or the the th the thread. Of why, of what brings you together, what brings you together as glue, mm -hmm. and have fun um, sharing about that type of thing. With the fall, of course, you've got all the leaves, and you could do leaves as place cards and set them up oh, really that's beautifully. A good idea. Or there's a number of ways to do place cards, that's for sure. Or or just favors, like I was saying. Yeah. So I'm hosting an event at my home for women business owners. Oh, that's right. Yes, you are. And um. I wanted to know how can I figure out what to do, what to serve as far as food goes that would um, kind of inter intertwine with my theme, which is fall. You got any suggestions on how I could pull that together? It's a potluck if I'm not <laughs> uh, if I'm not mistaken, but I think that most of the women that you're going to have there will be able to figure out what a good fall meal would be. Yeah. I think for you to, I mean, you could certainly put out your menu and say, this is what I'd like to have. Who can do Who what? Who bring that? That's what I was thinking. That would, it, you know, so that I could look at it and say, oh, my gosh, my apple crisp is to <laughs> die for. It's the, it's the staple at every family party I've ever had. Yeah. Then I might say to you, I'll take the apple crisp because I do it really well. But... I don't do a squash dish very well. You know what I mean? So uh -huh. I lean towards make your way, make your yeah. list. Yeah. So would would you recommend maybe researching the internet for ideas as far as how to find foods that would comply with that theme that you have in your mind? The internet, of course, has everything, including how to make it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yes, absolutely. If that's what you felt like you wanted to do, but then I think you're limiting yourself to what you're thinking and not opening it up to everybody else's expertise expertise and, and what <laughs> I'm really good at. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So you could go either way. It's it's really up to you. I also find that simple is easier too. Mm -hmm. So for instance, um, if you're if you're doing a, a chili theme or a stew theme with potato either mashed potatoes or or rice and you just keep it really simple. You have something that you put over rice or over potatoes and a salad and keep it really simple. So a lot of times it's less overwhelming for the host so that they're not trying to have to juggle what am I going to do here. It kind of all goes together and then one chili ends, you bring the next chili out and it just keeps going. Instead of a bunch of little things on the plate, you have a very simple night and then you can actually entertain your guests and not be shuffling around the food all the time. Mm -hmm. Now one of the things I like to do is I like to set my home up and um, all the place settings, et cetera, the night before, I have it all ready to go. Mm -hmm. Are there any other um, tips that you can recommend, Marianne, as far as um, helping uh, somebody get ready just to be organized and you know stay on that little timetable for their event? Well, the more you can get done in advance, absolutely. So even if you're cooking, anything that you can prepare in advance and then finish it off the day of is, is wonderful. Same thing with the floral arrangements and things of that nature. Anything that you can do to lay out the table so you have all the right spaces and the right platters uh, to do that in advance. I think people tend to put all the platters in a row flat on the table instead of lift and go high, medium, and low, high, mm -hmm. medium, low, and on racks and layer things. You can use the vertical space, mm -hmm. which is a lot of fun. But yes, I think the more you can get done in advance, obviously the better it will be for you. Um, you can even get your mixes for the cocktails together. And then, and also keep that simple. You have a simple one, two, three with these couple of mixes and you're done. You don't mm -hmm. have to bring out a full bar. 
Now, um, Eileen, Marianne had mentioned a few ideas regarding um, some decorating for the table. Do you have any ideas as far as um, easy floral arrangements? Well, if you garden, that's a, <laughs> that's a real easy one. Oh, yeah. Um, for floral arrangements, your grocery store is a great place to start because they have um, great flowers that you can do yourself if you want something simple. If you need something a little more extravagant, extravagant then certainly your local florist is, is exactly where to go. But yeah, I just went out, because it's fall, my hydrangeas are gorgeous outside. Mm -hmm. I just went and cut those, mm -hmm. put them in a vase on the table. They've got a little bit of pink, a little bit of white, a little bit of green. And it's gorgeous mm -hmm. this time of the year. So you can do it very, very simple. But it depends, again, what, what are you trying to do? What is your theme? And another idea is using some sort of a, OK, now we're going to have the fire alarm going. We Whoopsie. <laughs> Truly, right? Yeah. So what I was thinking just now is, as you, were, as you were mentioning it, potentially to use small bud vases or small glasses, maybe orange juice glass. Mm -hmm. And if you have a f several of the same thing and you just have a bud or a couple of buds alone lined up in a row, it's beautiful. And you nestle, nestle them in along with the food here and there. That's another way to really have a very inexpensive floral design having short votives with a few va flowers would be simple and anybody can do it. Eileen, I noticed you have um, a setting here. Now, can you tell me a little bit what that's about and why well, yes. that would help us? This is actually a great fold for a napkin. Okay. And it's, fold, it's folded like in the shape of a bowl. It was simple to do. I did it in 10 seconds. Um, what mm -hmm. we find is so many people want to have a buffet. Mm -hmm. And they put everything over on the buffet. They put their flatware on the buffet, their napkins on the buffet, all their tables on the buffet. When you come to the table, there's a centerpiece and nothing else. Mm -hmm. And we really find that this, the fancy napkin, makes for a nice place setting. It doesn't have Absolutely. to be fancy like that. It could just be a simple... It twine. could be simple. There it you go. Like twine. we have one over here. Very simple. Right. We like this one because if you were to do a party favor, the party favor can fit can sit right, in there. right in there, which yeah. is which is which is great. We I have a little shiny stone that I put in just to kind of mm -hmm. kind of give it something. You could also, if the table is set with salads, a lot of times you go and your table is set with salads. You can have the salads. You can put your roll in that little bowl. But the idea is so that the table looks pretty. When you come into the room, it's, mm -hmm. it's set and ready for you to go. And your guests then only need to deal with that dinner plate and nothing else right. when they're that going through easier. the buffet line. Exactly. Absolutely. So, and, and that's, they will thank you for that. And let's say you want certain people to sit next to certain people. Mm -hmm. and, and you are not so good with folding. <laughs> for instance, <laughs> let's just say you're folding challenged. <laughs> And, and you really don't want to go out to some place to get fancy schmancy napkin rings. You can also take, again, $1.99 at a convenience store. You can take some twine and simply take the napkin. Uh, for instance, here's a nice brown napkin. And here's the square. Make a little point like so. Mm -hmm. um, pretend you're the napkin ring. Hold it for a second. And take the twine and simply tie a knot, make it a bow, I should say, and then put on the little card who you want to sit there. Oh, that's and it that's still a great looks idea. pretty good. Yes, you know? absolutely. And then you have people sit. You just set it right in front yes. of you. Yes, sit right in front and of you. And that could be the, the same thing. Your knife fork, your wine glass, your salad bowl. Get a hole punch. And it looks, it looks beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. it looks elegant, but simple. Yeah. Simple, right? very simple. And you can just write in very nice handwriting and a brown or green ink would be beautiful. You know, if you put a little fall leaf in it, if or you, you know, if you had fall leaves, just tuck, stem, that, tuck that right in a there. Bow. Yeah. I mean, a stem of Pinterest a mom. is an awesome place <laughs> to yes, go to find your for, best, your best friend. for parties, right? <laughs> yeah. And in finishing up, uh, Marianne, do you have one tip that you think would help people the most that you would like to share that you've seen from your experience? Well, 
Eileen just just stole it. Pinterest is a great idea to get okay. some inspiration. Um, talk with people, uh, bouncing ideas off of people because brainstorming is a lot of fun, and uh, and you'll feel more confident when you approach your event. But as well, um, try to stay on budget. You know, really, really, it doesn't have to break the bank. Get creative by looking at certain si different sites. Uh, go to Facebook and ask your friends to give you some ideas. You don't have to do it alone. And so I think that is very key. I love what I do because when I sit down with somebody, I ask them a whole bunch of questions and then we just start brainstorming. So you can bring that into your friends from Facebook, your yeah. friends from any organization you belong to, mm -hmm. and really have a blast with it. And don't let it be daunting. Right. So ask a lot of advice, look on Pinterest, surf around, and, and you'll find exactly what you want to do and how to put it together. And with Marianne, Marianne and I, the thing that's most fun is working with the clients oh. planning a party. I mean, <laughs> who does who doesn't want to do that? Absolutely. So exactly. it's it's a great it's a great way to do it. And it's a lot of fun and we like she said, we brainstorm like crazy. Yep. And it doesn't and have you to put break together the bank. a great <laughs> you put together a great party that's that works for them. Yes. I really can't add any more to that. That was, that was yes. well said, well said. Okay, well, thank you for joining us today. Our pleasure. And, and thank you to our viewers for joining us. And if you have any questions or would like more information, please go to WBOA.org.